Hi guys. Okay, so I have a couple customers from last month that um, I wanted, I'm sending their thank yous out. Um, and I wanted to send a wax bar. So one of them is a customer that wanted, that I really think would like the scent of the month. And she ordered a few times last month. So I want to send her a, a wax bar with a few other things. And then the other girl is actually a girl who, um, she's a really good customer of mine. And she had mentioned a while back one of her favorite wax bars. And it's a discontinued scent. Well, I found it, found one in my stock, so I'm going to send her one. So I wanted to talk to y'all about sending the wax bars in the heat. So if you haven't noticed, depending on where you live, Cincy is sending the wax with ice packs, okay? And so the other day when I sent out, I sent out six wax bars to someone. I used one of the um, ice packs that Scentsy sends us because I saved those. Um, and that was, I probably should have put two in there to be honest with you now that I'm thinking about it, but it was six bars. So I put a whole one in there and it was like $8 to ship. Um, but when I'm only sending one bar and I'm sending, I would like to send it in, you know, something smaller. I don't want to send a whole ice pack for one bar. I wanted to show y'all how I'm doing it. Um, I got this idea from Ray Ray. She shared these um, sheets of ice cubes. I, I'm pretty sure it's Target is where I got it. I'll, I'll put the link in the comments. But it comes in a sheet of ice cubes. And guess what? You can cut them apart and use whatever you need. So what I did was I pretty much made my own little ice packs with cutting two of them. I put a paper towel in there because it is gonna sweat when it melts. It is just water in these. It's not like anything that some of the other ones use. Um, so it is going to sweat. So I put a paper towel there and I put it in a bag because if you just put the ice pack in with um, the bar, it's gonna sweat and it's gonna get it wet. And so this is still probably gonna get a little damp, just like you do when you get your bars from Scentsy. Sometimes they're still a little wet, but um, this will help with that. So the other thing I did in these bags, I had extra from bringing back my bar there, four by six reclosable bags. You can get them at Walmart in the B section. Um, are they four by six? Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the same. So, the other thing I saved from Scentsy that I recycle are the bags, or the, um, what do you call these things? The, um, insulated, there you go, things that the Scentsy comes in, and I cut it. So I pretty much just cut the bottom of this off, and I cut it in twos. And so that way now, I have a little pouch. And so in this little pouch, I'm going to put the bar and the ice pack, just like that. And I'm gonna tape it up because this is gonna keep the coldness obviously inside, just like Scentsy does. It's pretty much just another option to make a um, ice pack. And then I'm going to pretty much make my own little pack and I'm gonna tape it up. Um, and then from there, I'm going to put it in the little six by nine mailer. So it's got the protection from the um, pack. And then I'm also gonna put in, whenever I mail something like a pack that's not just in a regular envelope, at the beginning of the season, I always put in um, a catalog because why not? I'm already paying more than just an envelope to send something, so I might as well make it worth it. So I, I'm sending her this, a thank you card, and she needs to join my team, so I'm sending her some joint information. So I will put this in here too, and this is gonna be a lot cheaper than putting one of the big ice packs in a mailer this size, because it's, it's gonna weigh less than my other ones. So the ice cube packs are great for being able to cut them up and use them. I, again, I did two for one wax bar. I could probably do more, but I think that's all it's gonna need, to be honest with you. So now I will pack it up. I have two going out today, or they'll go out in the morning. 
Um, so I'll make these up. I'll weigh them on pirate ship without the envelope closed. Um, and then put the ice packs back in the freezer and then I'll schedule a pickup on USPS.com. My mail lady will come by and she'll pick it up from my front door because we are technically still in quarantine. Um, and that's it. So in the morning when, um, cause I know she usually comes around 11. So around 10 o'clock, I'll go get the ice pack out and put it in here to um, ship off and it'll be ready to go and it should be there within like two to three days. So the wax won't melt. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna put the link to these in the comments. Um, I wanna say they were like two or three dollars, but then for like a pack, I probably won't even use all these until it cools off, to be honest with you. But I know some people were talking about that. I don't ever like to chance sending wax in the summer um, because you never know how long it's going to be in the mail and if it melts it's on you just like with Scentsy if it melts it's on Scentsy so um, I don't personally ever send any kind I try not to send wax period but I know both of these girls are really gonna love this wax um, so I'm gonna go the extra mile to send it to them and I think they'll appreciate it right so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I didn't, don't have it with me, but I was gonna, I'll share something else a little bit later. I'm doing a little science experiment and I wanna show you how it, um, how it comes out because I think it's a good idea too. So I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.